Welcome back to F117A Stealth Fighter 2 and this time we're going to take on a very difficult mission. We're going to go for a risk 10 with the pretty much the highest difficulty but we'll have easy landings enabled for my sanity's sake. This time we'll be flying from Central Europe so let's hop over to the briefing. So what do we have for this mission? We're taking off in the evening Destroying a bridge, a SS missile, and then we're coming back and we're landing at Newburgh. And let's have a look at what we've got to deal with. Oh boy, so a lot more pulse Doppler radars this time around. Um, hmm. Can we pick a route through all this? It's going to be tricky. So I'm going to need a minute to think on this and see if I can't figure out how we're going to do this one. Alright, so I've had a bit of a think, kind of look at the loadouts. I think what we're going to do is take off. We're going to fly over these two radars, over this radar. We're going to fly down this corridor. Then we're going to turn northeast. We'll hit the secondary probably. And then we're going to turn toward the bridge here. Now, this is where it's troubling me is we've got this ring here and this ring here. In order to hit our target we need to be up at 2000 and by that altitude the radars aren't going to have a hard time detecting us in the microprose mode. So we may get detected right then and there if we're unlucky. But that is on the edges of the radars. There is a radar here which has to go if we're going to hit the primary target which is why I'm deciding we're bringing a harm. So we're going to fire a harm at this guy here. Hopefully that will deal with the threat. We can then operate on the primary target and then we're going to try and get back out the way we came through but it's going to be a tough mission I don't uh, don't anticipate we're getting through this without being detected but fortunately because we're using the more arcade F117 we've got full weapon slots including air to air missiles and arms and of course we've got our GBU-12s for the targets so this is going to be a very tough one we're going to have to see how this goes we're also going to be tight on fuel because um, yeah so this will be interesting. So let's go to the hangar. Are we ready for the mission? <laughs> no, not really. But here it goes anyway. Well, we're going to have to conserve the fuel for this, so... 80% straight off the bat. So we set off to go to our target. Zoom in a bit. Perhaps if you just saw there, a glimpse of the... Let's see if I can't look backwards. No, too late. There was a uh, F-16 back there, the Stealth Fighter 1. Okay, so we're going to go north for the moment. We're just going to take it easy. And because this is the arcade mode, we need to stay low, because if we go higher, you can see there our detection is going up as we go up, so we're going to go back down to get that reduced as much as possible. And we're just going to fly low level toward those pulse radars when we, when we find out where they are. But of course the fighters are right in the way as well, this is not going to be fun. There's the first pulse radar. So about 45, I can guess. It's getting tense now. We've got a fighter behind us coming up, and there's also that white dot in front of us. That's another fighter aircraft. I don't know which way he's going to turn. I have to keep a close eye on him. Looks like he's turning away, thankfully. C-27. Two aircraft there from the south on our right as well. This is not good. At all. Okay, we're making our turn to the next radar now. Those fighters have caught up and passed us, so we should be able to slip behind them with a bit of luck. You can see where those two yellow fighters are right now. In fact, you can see them on the right of the screen, those white dots going past. Just behind the altimeter. There you go. We should be following their path where they are right now, and then heading onto that radar at about uh, 1 or 2 o'clock on the display on the left. Not a whole lot of space here for this. This is... I just, I just want to make it to the target undetected. If I can get that far, I've done well. I've got to turn 
come to the right now sooner than I wanted just because I don't want to be caught by that guy and I'm hoping the radar next to us won't pick up on us and we've got a fighter on our left coming our way, we need to speed up a bit to get out of his reach you see the bars are getting high now yeah, this is not good I'm going to go full speed and try and get out of this scan area I think we've just slipped out there <laughs> very close alright, we're good I reckon Whew. now we're just going to worry about that guy on our far left at 9 o'clock, who uh, will probably turn around a bit once we hit this radar we need to go to the crossroads in our waypoints so this, here we go, here comes the turning point, it's a good thing they don't look out their windows and swap me flying over at treetop level so Let's just turn off the acceleration. Now I'm trying to figure out which way I need to go. Uh, tell you what, let's make it easier for ourselves. And that was a little bit bright for my liking. Put the marker there. Now we know which way to go. We got quite close to being detected there by a pole stop, but we're getting close. Get that one there. Ooh. See how close that's getting. If we were any higher, we'd be detected immediately. Alright. I think for the immediate moment, we're doing okay. So we've now slipped in between all the pulse radars. There's a fighter on our left. But he's a good ways out just for the moment. We should be alright to keep on sneaking along ooh that was close alright on to the next waypoint then that fighter's coming right at us is he gonna pick us up? no it's pretty close though going a bit faster now I'll just try and get out of his radar cone this is a bad spot I just need to Eee. get further away from them. That was even closer, I shouldn't have been turning then. Wasn't a good time to turn. Ooh. Yeah, that's close. I need to straighten out. Come on, turn around, go away. Picking up altitude, we do not want to do that. We're getting so close to being detected here. Oh, we've been detected. Alright, um, I need to switch to an AMRAM. We're going to have to go to air to air. We're going to get rid of that guy before he continues to track us, because he's going to bring all the other guys in on us. Alright, bay open. Fire the AMRAM. Come on, let's get him. And he's down. Reverse heading back the way we wanted to go. Let's not get too low. Install. Alright. So they know we were here now. There goes complete stealth. I'm not terribly surprised by that. Just going to push on now to our target. And hopefully the other fighters won't pick on pick up on what's just happened, it won't be vectored to me hopefully we can get out of the area before they arrive but yeah, could have done without that alright, we're now just past our first waypoint, I'm trying to figure out whether we should go for the primary or the secondary first I'm wondering how far are we, we are 130 kilometers. I don't know how close I can get to that radar so I think we're just going to sneak our way as close as we can to that pulse radar which uh, any moment now he's going to radiate again come on 
well, never mind. So the pulse radar dead ahead, essentially. I'm going to try and get him with a arm. He doesn't want to cooperate and radiate at the moment. But uh, sooner or later, I'm sure he will. There he goes. So we're going to try and snake our way in there, close as we can get. Take it out. That will stop him alerting fighters to our presence. And I think I've just managed to pause the game. I was trying to cycle the CPU up. Uh, how do you unpause it? There we go. Sorry, I was, uh, because it's busy cities here, I'm increasing the CPU rate to compensate for the drop in frame rate. So I'm using DOSBox to emulate it, and I can control the CPU. But anyway, we're going to carry on now to ward that radar and see if we can't take him out. Right, we got uh, eyes on the SAM radar now with our targeting pod. Hasn't radiated in a while. There's a fighter off to our... Uh, what's that, 11 o'clock on the display? He's coming toward us, so... Uh, that's probably someone responding to when we got detected, detected earlier. Just trying to creep... Just trying to creep closer to that radar so we can launch the harm. Just some weaving between buildings now. But 30 kilometers, the fighter's still chasing us. I don't think we're going to make it to the radar without being detected, but we're going to do our damnedest to try. That fighter's getting real close though. I think it's time we picked up a bit more speed. Thankfully, the radar we're going for isn't radiating too often. We're getting further away from him. We have to turn back. It's not actually radiated in ages. Oh, bother. Right, that fighter is right on our tail. We need to get rid of him before he picks up on us. Amrams. Oh, he's turned around. He turned around. We might have a window here. Alright, paveways. Let's get the engine up. Oh, we have to keep on stalling. That was close. Switching it to air to ground. Alright, 20 kilometers. That radar, well, I was going to attack, has turned himself off, thankfully, so. We'll have a window here to try and hit this. Alright, 10 kilometers. Full power. Climb. Bay doors open. Fire. Bay doors closed. Dive back down. They're really easily detectable here. There he goes. He's picked us up. We hit the bridge. We've got to go get that fighter now. He's going to come round to find us. So let's bring it round. That guy almost certainly is going to be facing us now. Well, okay. There's the other red I was worried about. All right. Pick the power back up and air to air mode. Target forward. Yeah, the MiG 31's coming this way now. Well, oh, there's a missile. Crap. Okay, we dodged that. Well, let's avoid, forget any pretense of being quiet. ECM is now on. And let's get Amram going. Bay open. Fire. Bay closed. Let's get back down. Okay, that guy is down. And still being detected. That pulse radar, unfortunately. Mm. 
dodged another missile, that's crazy. Okay. There's another fighter from the south coming toward us, that's not good news. Alright. ECM is off, we're quiet. I don't think anyone can detect us right now. Uh, air to ground mode. See if we can't skirt around the edge of that pulse radar to our right and hit our target. And get the hell out of here. Coming in on the target now, 32 kilometers away. Still got to keep the thrust down just to save the fuel because we haven't got a whole lot of it, frankly. Just gone below half. So here we go for the secondary target, the SS missile. 26 kilometers at about 10, we're going to pop up, drop our paveway be detected, and then run. So here goes. 20 kilometers. The picture right now is there's fighters everywhere around us apart from to the east, and the east is the one direction we don't want to go in. That fighter behind us is indeed chasing us. They're all coming toward us because we got detected a bit earlier, so here goes anyway. Full power. Uh, paper is selected. Alright, up we go. Immediately detected. ECM on. Bomb away. Close the bay. Start turning away. Come on, give me the target. There we go. There's a missile being launched on us. I'm going to launch decoy and we're going to dive hard back down to the deck. 400, 300, 200. I think the decoy did its job. Ah, uh, we're still being detected. You see him off. Can we hide now? Might be enough. That looks like a missile coming our way. No, it's going for the decoy. That decoy might just have saved us. You can see how many fighters there are now, right now. There's one, two, three pretty close. Two of them on top of us, one of them to the west is on his way toward us. It's, uh, it's tight. Head to air mode, because that's all we're going to need now. We have got that harm spare, so if I need to punch a hole for a radar to get home quicker, which I might have to, because fuel is not looking good, I suspect. Yeah, we have hardly any fuel spare if we fly a direct path, so that's no good news. We're just about creeping out of the reach of that fighter behind us. It does say we're being tracked on the, the bottom left, but I don't believe it. I think we've escaped the net now. Just got to keep heading toward home. Ooh, that's close to being detected though. I think we'll be alright. So, change of developments. There is a fighter, if I bring up the path again, right in our way, right there. He's going to detect us any minute, so we have to shoot that guy down. Bay open. Fire. Bay close. Turn away before he detects us. Let's hope we shoot him down without being detected. Yes. Okay. Back onto our flight course. So we're out of AMRAMs, we've got Four sidewinders left. Not going to be doing any more stealth takedowns of fighters, unfortunately, unless we get very close to them. Okay, status update. That guy has turned west, which is right where we're going. Uh, not great feeling about this. I might try and sneak behind him and shoot him down, but he's right on the side of us at the moment, it's going to be tricky. We've got two 
pulse radars up ahead, which I need to fly directly over to get out of here. So there we go, there they go. And I don't think we're going to make it to the radars before this fighter creeps up on us, and I can't really afford to double back. Let's try and sneak behind him. Just going to trust the stealth, I think. But it's getting awful close. And perfect, he's continued to turn toward us, it's almost like he knows where we are, but... Fast. Well... See what's happening then, air to air... Left... 20 kilometers... I don't know what the range is on the sidewinder in this. Yeah, he's halfway into detecting me. I don't want to engage him if I can avoid it. You know what, we're close enough. Ooh, that was too close. He pulsed right when we turned and he very, very nearly caught us. Alright, let's turn around, we're going to sneak up behind him now and take him out. Had enough of this cat and mouse. Let's get behind him. He's above us somewhere. That's a distant MiG. There he is. Alright, here we go then. Bay open, fire, bay closed. He's turning around. Don't know if he saw the missile. And he's been hit, nice. Alright, turn us back round. Gotta get our nose on that other red. Whoopsie daisy. Radar. We're going quite slow because I haven't got any power on. It doesn't take much to stall this bird. Uh, zoom out. Okay, that's the radar. Now I'm really worried about these hills actually because it's a very easy job to fly into one of these. You haven't got any reference as if you're getting closer or further away so you don't see the ground until you've hit it. Okay. Totally not a stressful mission at all. Flying head on to the pulse radar, we've got to fly over the hills, and fuel is looking terrible, frankly. There's enough, is that, you see that green bar, that's how much we'll have left when we get to the airbase. And we're at 50% throttle already, so it's going to be tight. As we carry on flying toward that radar. Oh no. <laughs> so I must have been detected during that because there's one, two, three, four aircraft behind me. They're all coming this way as well. They're going to detect me soon. And I'm kind of trapped. I can't turn till I reach that radar. I don't have the fuel to run terribly fast. Eep. Yeah, they're getting close to detecting me. Hope that will help. No, I'm not going quite so direct. Yeah, we're slipping out of that guy's cone just behind us. So we must have uh, been detected or reported, possibly visually, when we engaged that last guy. The radar in front of us has just turned off. I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. I guess it's probably for the best for us. So we'll continue to sneak. I hope those aircraft give up searching that. I hope they'll stop where I engaged and turn around and search the area and not follow down the route I'm taking. Okay, we're approaching that radar. Oh, that was close. Got to time my, time my turns between the radar pulses. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the terrain doesn't actually shield you, so flying between these hills won't protect me. And in fact, because you have to fly over the hills, it's going to be more dangerous, because I'll be higher up, and therefore more detectable. So we're going to go to the left of this hill up ahead. It might just be one mad dash at the end to get to the runway. 
Just flying over that radar now. See if we can't find it. There he is. The one that switched off as we pass it. Some missile trucks there as well. Hope they don't turn on again whilst we're right here. And we've got to turn toward that radar on our right. At 1 or 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock on the display. That hill up ahead on our right is going to be in the way. So I'm going to go round the hill then toward the radar. If we can. So we weave through the buildings. I think we've gotten away with it so far. Those fighters behind us don't appear to be chasing us too heavily. They're all kind of milling around in the area where we shot down that last fighter. And we've got on our nose, there it is, a pulse radar. And then up ahead on the right of the hills, there is a pulse Doppler radar which we're going to try and fly a radial of whilst also flying away from this radar as we fly home. I think we're free. We've just about made it out. So once we hit this radar we're going to fly to the southwest, weave away between those hills and then go home. Really do wish I had the extra fuel for this one. So 20 kilometers to our next turn point, right over that radar. Right, so we are approaching the radar and I've decided that actually I don't like this radar very much. We're just going to take him out with harm. This will make our life a bunch easier. I can now turn and not have to worry about flying the radial on the radar to this, the northwest of us, whilst also avoiding this guy. Although I have a horrible feeling I just alerted the fighters to the fact I'm about here by destroying that radar. So we're heading for home now, more or less direct, whilst the fighters chase up behind us. Yeah, so destroying that site may have been a bad idea, because you can see where all the fighters are, they've congregated behind us now. And that is right over the... Uh, I can look backwards. No. Right over the uh, the area I destroyed that Sam. We're now sneaking into the hills, and home is 13 minutes away. I think we have gotten away from the fighters though. You can see the two red dots by the end of our waypoint, those should be friendly. If they're not, we're in serious trouble. Only 123 units of fuel left. If I increase the throttle beyond 50%, we're probably not going to make it. So if the fighters find me, I've got to shoot them down, because I can't run. And I've barely got the fuel for the fight, so... It's uh, down to the wire. Okay, we're just flying past that hill. Just behind us there. I think we're home free now. The fighters aren't coming toward us any further, we're past the hills. Just a straight shot home. And as we're approaching home now, you can see that is in fact an F-15 Eagle up ahead of us, so that is a friendly aircraft. We've got the runway as well, so if I switch over to ground, there is our airbase. I don't know where the runway is, I'm hoping it's based on that map, left to right from our perspective. So we're going to come out to the left and start setting ourselves up for a landing. There's the runway, those two dots moving around, those are the, the F-15s, we're just getting lined up now. You see the red dots, those represent the end of the runway. So we're just coming around. And hopefully we're good, we're running out of fuel though, we're at down to uh, 26 fuel. So, not exactly happy. Alright, turn, turn around we go. Let's not, uh, let's try not to die immediately here. Alright, that's on. It'll be a shame to crash into the ground and die now. 21 fuel. We're getting buzzed there by someone as they come into land in front of us.
Here we go. Touchdown, brakes on. And mission complete. We have 14 units of fuel left. Good grief. Oh, so that concludes my little series, I guess you could call it, on F117. That was a tough mission. I honestly didn't think I'd survive the mission going into it. We managed to find that narrow corridor, fly all the way through, hit the targets, and we got detected a couple times, shot down quite a few aircraft. But that's the advantage of being in the, uh, the Micropros F117, which is much more like the F19 from the previous game. Having those air-to-air weapons means you can fight back and defend yourself quite effectively. So I've, uh, I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.